Okay, so we're getting ready to finish our walk around the backyard, go in the main entrance. I believe I had mentioned we still got a couple more entrances coming into the house. And this is our little walkway down to the tennis court. Again, here's a look for you of the tennis court. And the side of the home. We've got a couple air conditioning units tucked over here. The way this wall here would be a reading room attached to the master. Out here we just got a nice big bunch of grass. And this is also nice if you do have guests come over. Don't even have to come through the house, they can take your walkway all the way around. We've got a couple more units in here. This is the bulk of them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six units. I have a little concern here. We do have a couple pieces that appear not to be connected at the moment. The compressor appears to be there. Everything looks like it's there. We may be missing one essential part. Maybe an important factor. If you choose to offer on the property and have a home inspection, home inspector can point that out for you as to what kind of shape that air conditioning unit is in. So this would conclude your walk around to the front of the house and we're going to go inside now. Okay, we're over at the north east end of the property and we still had some concerns in regards to are we on a well or are we on public water? I think this confirms that we are definitely on public water now. We've got a large hole here and we've got a lot of plumbing parts. So we believe this home has been put onto public water and is no longer on a well. Can we put one back on? The answer is usually a no. I will check on that this week to see if we can get the well back or if those, all those rights to the water are now gone. And what would need to happen? So we will follow up on that just to give you an idea what part of the property on. We are on the exact opposite corner of the other way. Okay, we are back at the front of the property. We are ready to go inside the house. Again, we're over at the covered area. Covered parking. Again, there's room for two cars there to park. Right up here by the patio. I'm ready to walk in the door. As we walk in the door, we're going to walk directly into the living area come into the living area, you'll see one of the doors that goes outside. You're going to see some 12 by 12 inch tile. we got quite a design here at the entrance. We need a center. Alright, we got a fireplace. We're going to go look at that in a moment. What I wanted to look at over here was the formal dining area. Not with the chandelier, it appears to have been taken out. That would be that hole up there with some wires popping out at us. There is a step up to this dining room. And we got a couple spotlights that can focus on that wall if there was a piece of art you would like to focus on or television or something else. And as we look over to the living room, you're going to see we got a vaulted ceiling. We have a loft right above. In order to get up there, there's a staircase in this hallway here to the left. Come in a little closer, get an idea of what we're looking at. This is a gas fireplace. And we have kind of a little sitting area here. Could allow you to look outside while you sit and read. Yeah, there were some light fixtures up here. They've all been taken out. And we got some high, some high density lights up there. Uh, we look over the loft with a little bridge that carries over on top of the master. Almost on top of the master, not directly on top. 
We've got another staircase as you come in that would take you right up there as well. We're going to go up that staircase in a little bit, but first I want to show you the master. Well, the master would have a couple ways in. We do have an office here, or you can go down this hallway to the left. These double doors would take you out for tennis lessons, or you can hang left and go to the pool house. As you come in the door, you'll see the master there. We're going to take a brief look. That's where the bed would go. We're not ready to look at that. We want to look at the office first. So look at the office. We got some very large tiles. They appear to be 18 or 24 inches. I'm going to measure those in a little bit and give you a better idea of what size we're looking at. Plenty of built-in bookcase. Gives you plenty of room for books. We got the fireplace. You have yeah, perhaps an assistance desk, an area for a mini fridge, sink, and a little bar area. Got our own thermostat in here, and a double door entry. And of course the window give you a view when somebody comes up to meet you if you're doing any business out of the house. This is what you'd see coming out of the office, looking over at the dining room, the hallway towards the kitchen as well as out to your living area. And as you can see, it's a pretty easy walk. Come over and answer the door, bring in a guest. Don't have to see a whole house. They can come right in. So we're going to go to the master next. And we'll Okay, from the main entry, we'd walk over to our master bedroom. If you did have any house guests here, there is a half bath, so they don't have to go trucking across the house in order to go to another restroom. As we, we got a double door entry into the master and we got a little pony wall that's protecting us from the master bedroom or the master bed. This is where the master bed would lie. It was a fixture up above it at one point. We also have some built-ins as well on top. Plenty of outlets for cat 5 power light switches. Over on this side we're going to have fireplace as the centerpiece and we have some more outlets if a TV were to be desired and we have a possible little sitting area looking out over at the pool and those palms are blocking our view of the tennis court. In the background you can see Fountain Blue, a half-completed hotel project, and we've got a tree that's starting to block our view of Encore, and you can see part of the wind. Those neon lights will light up at night, and you probably would catch them from the bedroom. Let's take a look if we were here at the bedroom, or sitting at the edge of the bed. We'd see the front doors coming in, door over to the office, fireplace, Looking outside, and our walk over to the bathroom. Now with the bathroom. Bathroom, we have a jacuzzi tub. It does have jets. We've got plenty of material here that's not slippery, so you don't slide right out when you get out of the hot tub. Unlike using some other porcelains. Got some built-in lighting up above and we have a sitting area so we look over here at the sitting area that would be more of an ideal sitting area than what I had mentioned just a minute ago we have our shower and we have a large soaking tub just beyond before we walk over there and I don't show myself in all these pictures I want to show you the girls vanity walkway over to her closet and then you would have the man's vanity. Men's room would also have his own private toilet. As we look back over the men's, past the woman's, the woman would have her own toilet and bidet as well as any other type of storage that would be desired. I mentioned the large soaking tub. 
Let me come up to the large soaking tub. This one does not have jets. It does have a little step up entry. Could possibly fit room for two. We've got a couple armrests. And we can peek out over at the tennis court if we wanted to stand up high enough and peek out. I don't really see any neighbor windows that are going to be staring at you. Appear from the neighbors. Now, you can see that we have a sauna. Got two little monitors here for the steamer and the heat. And let's see if we can get some LED light. Probably not going to get you too much light to see in here. But we'll try. We're going to see a couple rocks here on the left. And then we've got your typical stool down below and then a higher stool up above. Fortunately, that light is not working, so I'm not going to be able to show you too much there. Let's go over to the shower. We've got our own walk in entry here, and then we got a door, and we are surrounded by fogged up glass. We have an area to sit. We do only have one shower head. Here's it had a little drip. We got a little bit of water down there. We're going to come back out. We're going to take a look again over by the men's. Now I'm sorry, I'm just trying to keep myself out of the picture here. And we're going to take a closer look at the women's vanity before going over to the closet. <clears throat> Alright, when we come into the closet, we've got hangers and we've got shelves. More hanging, more shelving. Some pretty bright lighting in here. I'm just going to go down to the other end to give you a little bit of a feel of how deep this room is. When you come into the right, we've got some more shelves. I would assume this is going to be a hers closet, but I didn't quite find a men's idea I came up with for a men's would be over here, but it would need some type of hanging bar. So to give you an idea of that room size, you don't have anything hanging up in this auxiliary closet here. It is somewhat vaulted. Now we walk around a staircase. As so we walk around this staircase to get to that room. We also have a room here with an ironing board. Ironing board's already in. And an area for a washer dryer. Got vinyl flooring here where most of the rest of the house.